name is Aeng, and I'm from Wing City. Today, I'm very happy to be here and talk about the topic, sharpening English language skills for global citizenship. So let me ask you some questions. Do you want to speak real English? Want to be a global citizen? Well, I think so, and me too. So how can you do all of that? Well, before I start, I would like to tell you a story. Well, when I was in a barbecue dinner party for engineers all over the world a little while ago, when serving hot dogs, some were regular hot dogs, some were cheese hot dogs, with cheese in the middle. And the French engineer is cooking the hot dogs. And he turns to this Korean guy and he says, Would you like a hot dog? The Korean guy says, Yes, please. And he says, Would you like the cheese? The Korean guy looks around the table and he says, I know sea cheese. Well, the hot dog is contains the cheese, said the French engineer. The Korean guy doesn't understand him, so he tries again. So the hot dog is making from with the cheese. The Korean guy still doesn't understand him. So the cheese is coming from the hot dogs. The Korean guy can't understand him. Now, a Japanese engineer who has been listening to this conversation turns to this Korean guy and he says, Ah, cheese in the crater. And the Korean guy understands him. Now, you see, people from many different places in the world today all speak the same language, no matter who they are and no matter where they come from. So this is English today, which is spoken by 96% of people who are non-native speakers like me. So we see the necessity of learning a language in order to become a global citizen. And the basic principle is Number one, having a good command of English. So practice, practice your English every day. Be closer to the second language. Here are some tips for you. Talking to your friends, to your family members in English. Taking part in any English competitions. Improving your communication skills through films, music, or talk shows in English. And now, just back to the story. Imagine the Korean guy couldn't understand the French engineer. What would he do? Well, would he just think, I don't need that cheese anymore. Perhaps I will go home with an empty stomach. That can happen, right? If the Korean guy had intended to go home, he would become lack of skills. In fact, he would lose one of the most important ones, leadership skills and social skills. And you see, I'm expressing myself in English right now. And I think in order to become a global citizen, you need your English ability, you need your English skills. That is in number one. And number two is having good life skills. So here are some tips for you. Joining in any English competitions or joining in an intensive training program to get advice from experienced people. Practicing speaking in front of a lot of people or getting used to such difficulties when traveling abroad or dealing things in the second language. And now, 
No global citizen is perfect. Just only know the language itself. And number three is donating. Well, global citizen is someone who identifies with being part of an emerging world community and whose actions contribute to building this community's values and practices. So people like Mother Teresa or Uncle Ho, they didn't just sit still, they went out, they tried things, and above all, they did something for the whole community. So you must do something. First start with small things, and then do something tougher, do something a little bit more difficult. But just remember, you do things to make people happy. So make sure you do it in your highest responsibility. Next, helping others achieve their dreams, and you will achieve yours. Helping the elders, raising funds for poor or sick people, organizing some talk shows for the disabled. They are what you really need to do. So one last point. Don't miss any inch competition like this. That is how you actually get the first foundation and get ready to take some actions to start a day becoming a global citizen. So again, my name is Nguyen Nhat Anh, and I'm proud to be a Vietnamese.